I just think it's a really good idea when it's your first ever public speaking engagement to do it in your hometown and talk about sex. <laughs> So good to see you. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm Sarah and I've been learning and practicing and sharing the art of deep radical listening for around 10 years now, mainly in the realm of parenting. And tonight I want to talk to you about how we can use deep listening to create better relationships. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was sex. <laughs> and then the Word was made flesh and became a little tiny baby. How you started out and how I started out. And we came into this world just utterly vulnerable completely dependent on our parents and caregivers to see us, to hold us, to hear us, to feed us, and to love us. And for better or worse, they all did the very best that they could. And the first thousand days of life, these are the foundational days from conception to the age of two and three quarters year old. You can liken it to when we hardwire a computer or build the foundations of a house. All of the sensory input that we get, the way that our needs are met or not met, all goes to inform us and the information gets stored in our limbic systems and throughout our bodies. And we carry messages from that pre-verbal period, so that's before we can talk. We, we carry those messages and those body experiences through childhood, gaining all the time, into adolescence, when of course we start to detach from our parents and form intimate relationships with our peers. And we know what a joyous time that is, right? <laughs> And then all the way through to adulthood, we still have those unconscious memories and experiences stored in our limbic systems. And we bring the same questions to our adult relationships. Am I lovable? Am I wanted? Am I safe in this physical body to play and have experiences? Can my needs be met? Can I ask for my needs to be met? And will they be met? All of these questions. Oh, there they are. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so we carry these uh, experiences forward. And how can listening, how can deep listening help with all of this? Well, listening is very, very different from your regular everyday conversation where we feel free to interrupt each other at any time and we might only be half listening anyway. We might actually be thinking, oh, I've got to get home, put the dinner on, or when are they going to finish talking so I can have a go, or I've got just the right advice for them or the solution to fix this. Thank you. <laughs> Does anyone remember this guy from the far show? Is it just me? No. You don't want to do it like that. You want to do it like this. <laughs> um, so, in listening, this is really different. We don't interrupt each other. When we learn the art of deep, radical listening, there are a number of techniques and uh, ways in which we can ask questions that will support the person we're listening to to really deepen into their experience. Uh, but we don't ask questions for our own understanding. It's, it's different. And we grow a listening muscle, just like we would grow a bicep in the gym. The more we practice listening in this open-hearted way, unconditionally, 
accepting and respecting the person we're hearing, uh, we grow that muscle. We don't reflect back from our own experience. We don't hear someone and they go like, well, actually, this is what happened to me. Um, we listen, acknowledging, and this is a great tip, actually, when we're listening to someone and our attention kind of wanders and we find, um, find ourselves thinking about anything else. Uh, bring our attention back and think, this is a really good person doing their very best. And that just helps to bring our attention back to that listening space. So can listening make me a better lover? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's my Harry Met Sally moment. <laughs> Without a doubt, it absolutely can. When we, when we engage in a listening exchange, either with one person or a small group of people, we get to be really heard and work on all of those early upsets, the fears, the, um, the unmet needs, the traumas, all those areas that didn't quite go as we might have first liked. And it's not all bad news. We can also use this place really playfully and um, we can explore different sexual personas. We can um, make a mess and, um, and fix it all again away from our intimate relationships. So, Sometimes we carry through early hurts that might present themselves as jealousy, real deep clinginess, fear of abandonment, rejection, all of those juicy things that, that can show up in our intimate relationships. And sometimes this can end up sabotaging our relationships with the people that we care about, right? So having a container away from there where we can really practice um, not, not just practice, but also do the work, the somatic healing work of releasing through tears, through laughter, through trembling and shaking, and through, through sharing our stories with a, a caring listener. All about connection, right? We can then bring the very best of ourselves to our partners, maybe with a bit more practice, maybe with a bit more grace than we might have done otherwise. And just like all the best things in life, it's free. <laughs> when you've learnt the tool of deep radical listening and you really know how to be a good listener and to use the good attention of a, of a hearer, <laughs> then it's free. You can find any other bod who's learnt this safe, contained, confidential tool, grab them, share an equal amount of time to, to both listen and to be heard. <coughs> and away you go. Uh, you can do it with anyone, anytime, anywhere, like great sex. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now it's your turn. <laughs> so what we're going to do leading into the break now is I'm going to ask you to find somebody. Uh, maybe you're sitting next to them. Maybe you need to just turn around and, and try maybe finding someone that you don't know. And I'm going to set my timer for two minutes for each person. And I'll tell you when it, the two minutes is up so that you can swap over. And the question I'm inviting you to talk, to listen to each other about, again, without the interrupting, is what brought you to the sex lectures tonight? Okay, nice and easy. Yeah. <laughs> what brought you to the sex lectures? Share for two minutes. Thank you. The person who's listening, thank the person who shared. Uh, the timer will go ding, 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 ding. Swap over. Two minutes listening to the other person with the same question. And then, I'll, again, I'll let us know when that second two minutes is finished. 
and then we'll be all so nicely connected uh, we'll be able to go into the break and keep finding other other people to ask impertinent questions to wasn't it yeah <laughs> um, okay so without any further ado find find the board can I, can, I, can I ask you just to just to just to listen <laughs> has everybody got a has everybody got a board has everyone got a, a person yeah Enjoy your break, thank you so much for watching.